happy day to us with. I'm glad or here. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. As Honor said, today is a Saturday Swatch Fest, so we're gonna get right to it. As you know, on Saturdays we swatch, and we're gonna look at 10 random shades from my collection that haven't appeared on my channel yet. So, we are gonna start out with Simple Colors Hot Chili. So, um, yeah, this is not my favorite red. <laughs> <laughs> but not all of the polishes that I put here on the Swatch Fest are my favorite colors. Um, it's kind of like um, like a cinnamon red, and then it has like chunky holographic in it. So anyway, that's just my opinion, but I just don't care for it very much. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and take a look, and you can make up your mind for yourself. For pink, I'm showing you Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear in the color Coral Reef. Now this is a color I can completely get behind. I'm absolutely in love with this pink and I'm not even that crazy about pinks, but it is a one coater. It's nice and thick, perfect in one coat. You really don't need any more than that. When I went ahead to go put the second coat on, it was like, hey, I don't need you. What are you trying to do? So anyway, you'll see. I'm going to swatch it for you and you can see what it looks like. This is a great staple from the drugstore that you can pick up. And yeah, let's take a look. What, babe? What's that on? Okay, what do you want to watch? Mm, Bob Burgers. Bob Burgers, okay. And because I forgot to tell you, which I always forget and end up filming this part later, <laughs> I am wearing um, Daringly Nude from the Maybelline, the new mattes that have been released. And that's what that looks like there. I actually went ahead and put a moisturizer on, but you really don't need it. Um, with these mattes, they're creamy and delicious. And I've showed this to you before but it just looks like that. Okay, so let's move on. For orange, I'm showing you kind of like an orangey, pinky, coral shade. I'm giving you Julep Georgia, and this is like a gorgeous, um, like a sunset coral because it's got this gold shimmer running all throughout it but I have to be honest I don't care for the formula on this polish the conception behind this polish was right on but the execution unfortunately was not quite there because it's a little bit goopy and it still doesn't get quite opaque at two coats so in my personal opinion I I mean the color is gorgeous but I don't think this polish is really worth it you can find similar polishes elsewhere, but because that's what we do on Saturdays, let's swatch it and you can see what you think. For yellow, I am going to show you a very well-known yellow, and it is Revlon Buttercup. This one has actually been clearanced um, and shown up at my Big Lots a ton of times, but it's a great standard yellow. Definitely by no means is it a one-coater, even in two coats. It's still, um, you can still see a little bit through to the nail, but it's such a sweet color for yellow. It's like, it's not really a pastel, but it's almost a pastel. And yeah, it's just such a pretty sweet yellow. I love it. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. Thank you. 
All right, for green, I'm showing you Nicole Biopii Make Mine Lime. I'm not sure what collection this is a part of, but this is really sheer. At two coats, um, you can still see completely through to the nail. However, the color is really pretty. It's this um, it's really, really iridescent, shimmery lime polish, but it's just really sheer. So you're going to need to, you know, maybe use it as a topper, kind of turn a regular green that you have into something a little bit more fantastic um, which is unfortunate because I feel like polishes should kind of stand on their own two feet so anyway that is again just my opinion you can let me know down below if you have found the most wonderful way to wear this polish but yeah let's go ahead and see how make mine lime swatches So for blue, I'm going to show you another fabulous one coater. This is Bahamian Escape from China Glaze. This is another one that was like that pink where it was like I was trying to put the second coat on and it was like, what are you doing? I don't need a second coat. Really, you don't with this one. Um, it just glides on and it just looks fabulous and it's a really great blue that is not dark, not super light. It's kind of right there in the middle, sky blue, gorgeous, gorgeous cream. So let's take a look. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Did you say gorgeous? Yes. How do you say it? Wigga wigga. You are silly lady. For purple, I'm going to show you Finger Paints Lavender Highlight. Highlight! And it looks like this. Um, this one is actually, it's kind of sheer at the first coat. And um, it does kind of even out to be a nice color. And of course it's purple, so I don't want to hate on it too much because I love purple polish. But um, yeah, it's really not my favorite purple. But I mean, it'll do in a pinch. But I would say, um, you know, if you have something similar to this color, you definitely don't need this polish. So let's go ahead and take a look at two coats of lavender highlight. Alright, for my neutral polish, I'm showing you OPI Get in the Espresso Lane. Um, this is like a really deep brown that almost leans like a little bit green to me. It's like a greeny gray, but it doesn't really look green on the nail or anything. It's just like really, really deep. What are you doing? What is that? A cookie. A cookie? Yeah. Did you get that out of your ear? Yeah. Yucky. <laughs> she just gave me some earwax. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is really nice and deep. Um, I got it perfectly opaque in two coats, no issues here with formula, per usual for OPI, just a really great deep brown if you're looking for something really dark. And yeah, I think I found this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. So anyway, let's take a look. Alright, the glitter that I'm showing you this week is Sephora Biopia Indigo with the Flow. I'm so in love with this glitter. It's in a clear base and it's this vibrant um, indigo lilac. Like it's an indigo color but it is so vibrant that it makes it look lighter if you know what I mean. And it's like multi-sized glitter. So there's some hexes and then there's some very tiny particles. 
and I found that this one just pairs really nicely with a lot of different things. In fact, I really kind of liked it with this deep, deep brown. It was very cool. So anyway, this, you get a ton of glitter in just one swipe. I mean, you don't even really need a second swipe on this one, but yeah, I just really love it. I love how vibrant and bright and blingy it is. So let's take a look at Indigo with the flow. All right, and you've probably been wondering what's on my nails. I've got my A plus polish of the week for you and it is none other than Zoya Sansa. And actually, um, I've seen this reviewed quite a bit and when I went to Ulta last month, I was only gonna pick one up from the um, Ignite collection and I picked Yuna and that is so gorgeous, but um, <laughs> I just had to pick up Sansa too. I couldn't pass it up. So recently I went ahead and purchased this and it's a deep purple, as you can see on my nails, and it's got gold running all throughout it, and oh, it's just so gorgeous. It's very, very fine shimmer, so it just really reflects greatly, and yeah, I love it. I mean, and you know what? I'm looking through the backs of my fingernails, and it looks like much lighter purple on this side. Anyway, random fact. It actually kind of looks like the LPI um, do that you have this color in Stockholm. Random fact. So anyway, let's go ahead and see how this one swatches. It's a two coat wonder. It's absolutely gorgeous and lovely. Let's see. Okay, so that was our whole swatch fest. What did you guys think? I'm so glad you all show up for this swatch fest every Saturday because I have so much fun swatching these polishes with you and hearing back from you what you've been wearing and loving during the week. Um, yeah, I mean, did you agree with me on my top pick there? And if you wanna see what the rest of these are rated, you can visit my blog where I give each of them a rating and a little bit more of a rundown on the review of the polish. And then you get to see more pictures and things like that. So, I think that's all we have for you today. I hope that you are all having a great weekend, that you're having a fabulous Saturday. Thanks for spending some of it with me, and I will see you back next time. Bye! Watch. Uh, uh, uh -huh. What are we going to swap out first? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.